because I think that we, we're just like drug addicts, you know. I think we are addicted to the European worldview. And, and withdrawal is a very, a very challenging process. It is a very challenging process. If you know anything about addiction, that's, it takes all the energy you got, <laughs> you see, to try to and get out of that, to get out from under the weight, you see, of that addiction. And you will come up with every justification and rationalization you can, you see, to in fact reinforce it. I often use this analogy, uh, I've been in this, it's, uh, been fortunate enough, I guess, to be involved in the more progressive wings of this liberation movement for the last 20 years. And I've tried to be a keen observer because when I entered it, I was rather young. And to watch and see what was going on, you know, and see what we do and seem to be doing right and what seemed to be working and what we seem to be doing wrong. And one observation I've come out of that experience with is that we have as many contradictions in the most progressive movement of African liberation as we have anywhere else in the African community. As any place else. I notice everybody got a little quiet on that one. <laughs> but, but, uh, but the point I'm making is that, you see, uh, we got so much baggage that we have collected in our sojourn on the white supremacy domination that I use this analogy about, say, of the African liberation train has been announced, you know, it's going to leave the station <laughs> next week at 8 a.m. And all serious-minded Africans should be at the station to get on so we can liberate ourselves from white supremacy domination. Now, we're not talking about Africans who are confused about the Africanity and all of We're talking about the ones who say they're ready. <laughs> That's the group we're talking about now. I would submit to you that when the fog lifts that morning, you know, on Liberation Day, the train is leaving the station, and all the brothers and sisters gather, everybody's going to have these duffel bags, you know. And just imagine the wisdom of the ancestors designed the entryway, you know, onto the train, very narrowly, such that just you can get through it. Okay? What do you think is going to happen? Blood's going to be trying to get through that door with them duffel bags, get stuck in the door. <laughs> and here come a wise elder, you know, one of the conductors on the train, one of our wise elders, come along and give a hint to the wise, say, man, if you try to leave that duffel bag, you can get home. I said, no, 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 I can't leave this, brother. I got, it's too important. I got some important things in here. And can you imagine if we had something like customs, you know, when you come through? So they say, okay, this is, this is chaotic now. Hey, wait a minute. We didn't plan for this. Let's dump these bags out here. Let's see what's in here. You justify, you know, this stuff you're trying to get through here so we can get the train moving. And blood started dumping out those bags. I would suggest to you that we would try to justify every last thing in the bag. Whether well, it's some alien religion. No, 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 man, I need this. I'm committed to it. I got to keep it. This is, my, this is me, you know. What is all these Eurocentric-like cosmetics? No, 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 I can't live without this stuff. I got, you know, it's got, that's me, I can't, I can't leave that. Hey, listen to this one. These Eurocentric names. I said, no, 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 I can't leave this stuff behind. I wouldn't know myself by any other name. How can I leave that, you see? I'm talking about in the progressive circles of African life. I have witnessed this, you see. I mean, I've been in the situation where we've been harmony getting ready to lay out the plan and getting ready to action plan. And all of a sudden, we stepped on somebody's toe, something in their bag. We stepped on it. They said, wait a minute. The whole meeting broke up into disintegration and started talking about what's in the bag. And here we talking about we're getting ready to mount an offensive against white supremacy domination. <laughs> and all of a sudden, I mean, we were moving in harmony, everybody's rolling the rhythm, until we infringe upon somebody's duffel bag. <laughs> and all of a sudden, everybody goes back and draws out their duffel bag. <laughs> and now we got the duffel bags are between, you see. They are between African people. All this junk that we have collected 
from white supremacy domination mm -hmm. is in the way. And I contend that we've got to have specific rituals that allow us to resolve that problem before it continues to occur. Mm -hmm. All right. It seems to me that our scholars should recognize that we have been studying this problem long enough to be able to recognize what some of our fundamental deficits are and build in correctives of those deficits before they destroy our thrust toward victory. 